What's up guys, today we're building Dark Magician using my pattern, so if you got them all cut out and ready to go, let's get started. Remember, all pieces on this pattern are mirrored, so flip them over, trace them, cut them out. Alright, so for the shoulder pieces A, B, C, and D, at the very tip, you're going to want to do an extreme bevel like you see here, and about right about there you want to bring the blade in and turn it into a regular moderate bevel. And for the bottoms of the shoulder pieces, I like to do a slight inwards bevel so when you add the trim, the EVA foam isn't showing up underneath. Just repeat this beveling process for all the other shoulder pieces. Make sure to keep that knife real sharp. For the sharpie line you see on the piece B1 here, that's just the dotted line on the paper pattern. So make sure you transfer that over to your foam so everything lines up and A lines up perfectly on top of B just like that. Cut out the rest of the shoulder pieces. Alright, so for this part, I'm just trying to get a nice curve in all the shoulder pieces. So heat up with the heat gun, the front and back of the shoulder pieces. Get them nice and hot, and then just mash a ball in them. Here I use a tennis ball. to get a nice round curved shape into the foam. So when we connect it, it's a lot smoother. It'll look a lot better. Also, don't be afraid to just pick up the foam while it's hot and just roll it up like here to get a nice curved shape like this. Now on the gluing, I use a contact cement. I do a nice thin layer here, wait for it to dry, and then I apply a second thin layer of contact cement. Just using a piece of scrap foam to smooth it out. Two layers, it definitely helps the adhesion it will not rip apart. With one layer, I always find myself attaching pieces and then having pieces just rip back open. So make sure you use two layers of cement there. Once you have all your glue applied, just hit both pieces with a heat gun before you connect them. That'll make it more flexible so you're not fighting with the foam when you're trying to connect it. Make sure you start at the tip here. Just line up the edges, make sure edges line up perfectly using your finger as a guide to keep everything smooth just press them together while smoothing it out with your finger don't worry if this part isn't perfect you can always go over it with the treble and get it nice and smooth it should look like this the same process for all the other shoulder pieces Again, make sure to line up those edges first and then just use your finger and press it down straight. Alright, to get these nice little bends in the shoulder piece, you're going to have to do V-cuts in the back. On the paper pattern, it should be a dotted line. Just copy that onto the back of the foam and mark it. And then you want to take a real sharp knife, make sure to get it extra sharp and do a bevel towards the line on both sides to get a nice valley cut and it should peel right out the deeper you make this v-cut 
the more pronounced that line on the front will be. Like this. Alright, to keep it open like that, we're going to need to back it up with some hot glue. So fill it up. Don't worry about overfilling it, we want it to be open more. So just fill it up with hot glue and keep the foam pieces open and let it cool off and dry. And it should stay just like that. Repeat the process for the rest of the four valley cuts. And B should slip right under A just like that. Lined up with the Sharpie line. Make sure to wear a respirator for this part because there's going to be some heavy contact cementing here. Just using a scrap piece of foam to smooth it out. Two layers on both sides. Take your time here. You don't want to miss and just ruin the foam. So just line it up with the Sharpie line. Do it right the first time so you don't have to do it again. And it should look just like this. Here I'm just heating up the back piece to get a nice round contoured shape for the back plate. This makes it look better. This part's optional. And just glue it right on. And for attaching F to E on the hood piece, I start with the middle. I kind of just line up the edges on one side, get a nice good connection. Just pulling foam where I need to, just try to get the edges as flush as possible. And the other side. Use your fingers to make a guide and just keep it as flush as you can. Make sure to press the two foam pieces together to get a nice strong connection. And the hood piece should pop on that dotted line on the paper pattern just like that. So gluing again. And for connecting it, I start with the back and the middle, and then I just line up one half. Just pick a half to line up first, right on that Sharpie line. Don't be afraid to fight with the foam a little bit to get it to stay on the line, because ultimately that's how it needs to look. Once you got one half down, the other side is a lot easier. And press the two pieces together. Make sure it sticks nice and good. And it should look just like this. Now, we're just going to make that goofy hat. Just cut out the patterns. Make sure you're nice, real sharp before each cut. And for the tip of this piece, you want to do the same thing as the shoulder armor, an extreme bevel near the tip, like you see here. And glue, you know the drill.
Once you got both sides cut out, hit it with the heat gun and do the same thing with the shoulder pieces. Get it nice and round, roll it up, whatever you need to get it nice and curved. Once you got two pieces curved and glued up, hit it with the light pass of heat gun and then connect the two pieces together. So start with the tip, drop your piece, start with the tip, make sure your edges line up, using your finger as a guide, make sure it's nice and even, flush. And it should look like this.